Yeah, some of the other ex uh, deductions, I would say some of the other deductions are also equally important. You know, when we talk of deduction under section 80D or section 80TTA or, you know, certain other deductions, important deductions from policy point of view, they are important. And again, I would recommend that government should increase the limits. So if you look at a deduction under section 80D, which is paid for uh, medical insurance premium, it is around 25,000 and 50,000. Now, given the kind of medical expenses uh, which individual has to incur and the cost of, you know, the comprehensive insurance, etc., clearly I think the need would be, it will be a big relief for the individuals if this limit is increased. Other deduction could, is given, you know, when you pay interest on a uh, saving bank, which is only a 10,000 deduction. Here, I would say two-fold recommendation. One, that uh, they should increase the limit, say, to 50,000. And uh, they should also include uh, fixed deposits into this basket so that the individuals do get relief. Clearly, they do switch over their savings to FDs. So I think deduction on interest would be useful. The third set of deductions, I would say, which are covered under Section 80 EEA and 80 EEB, which primarily relates to affordable housing and uh, interest paid on purchase of electric vehicles. Now, in these, there are sunset clauses. And so the recommendation would be that the, if the government can extend the timeline for another one or two years. And this would be important because there is a demand, say, for housing, because clearly with the current uh, scenario on work from home, people need those spaces. And similarly, there is a demand for EVs, purchase of electric vehicles. And uh, by increasing the limits, it would encourage, as well as it will also meet the government's uh, objectives.